Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So finally we have some kind of a new design of a frame and we're going to be taking a look at today because I think I'm going to be building this on the next episode as a 6s low kv build. However, let's talk about the frame first. So this is from a new company. I can't even pronounce this name. It's called Nidisi, I think the KUNH5 227 uh, millimeter wheelbase quadcopter now this is a five inch quadcopter but it can take up to a 5.5 inch props which is you know it just has enough space for that it is a true x as i believe and it's 3k carbon now some of the things you need to take into perspective is the arms are in width they're just 8.5 millimeters in height they the thickness they're five millimeters so that's pretty thin you got your bottom bottom plate right there, which is three millimeters and every other plate is two millimeters, which is these two side plates. And they give you these standoffs that go inside this 3D printed part, which was a pain in the ass to actually install. I almost broke my hand doing it, but um, I got them in finally. Now, uh, this does take 30 by 30 flight controllers and 20 by 20, as you could tell down here, and they are uh, tapered down here. So, or engraved down, whatever you want to call it. So, that goes for that. But, you know, the thing is, it, it's it's not meant for a full-blown HS11 type camera. It's meant for, like, micros. So, I was thinking of putting, like, a Cadix, the new HGLRC Titan that's, like, you know, for a 6S build. And uh, the, the AKK FX2 Ultimate uh, VTX, which has, like, an insane amount of range with smart audio. But putting it together here... It proves to be very annoying. I mean, it's very nice design. I really like the look of it, but it's very unpractical, like really, really annoyingly unpractical. Now, you might say, okay, well, how is this top plate held together? Well, this just slides into the carbon fiber, and then you get these two extra pieces right here that you can't even install just yet. So this would hold that part in. Let's just actually zoom in here so you guys know what I'm talking about. So the arms here have an opening for this to slide through and then the plate would go through the bottom plate. But then if I lift up, it'll come up. But, you know, even the cuts are not very well. So it'll, the aligning, I had to force most of the aligning here, which I was very ashamed because it's pretty damn expensive. Now, for, the, for, for you to lock the whole upper body here, the upper plate, what you have to do, you see that slit right there? You have to slide this through. And you're still not done. You need to put another screw and another nut. So can you imagine? And it goes for both sides. Can you imagine how to deal with that in the field? I'm actually starting to change. Right now, to be honest, before I started this, I was like, that's it. I'm going to build my 6S build. I ordered some 6S LiPos yesterday. Um, I said, okay. And ooh, I remember I got this from. I said, let's put it together and see how it works. That's fine. I, I got a nice little fat three. That's a huge ass three stack in there. And no problem. I could worry about the receiver. Like I'll use an XM plus uh, probably double side tape it on the inside of this. I'll be totally fine. But just thinking about it, if in the field, I really had to do something to it. Uh, it's going to it's 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 not practical. It's very annoying. I You know, I was between this and the G Diatone GTR R5, that super light one. And it's even cheaper. But overall, you know, it's it's nice, but there, I, I, for me, it's it's more of a headache. But it's super light. Like for example, um, after this is this this is what really killed it for me. This really killed it for me here. So you're gonna have to need you need some type of screw here and some type of screw here. Usually we're just good with an M2 screw to remove every single piece off of the frame. Here it's not the case, and I'm finding it to be very annoying in my opinion others might find something completely different it might be nice for a 20 by 20 stack and all that kind of crazy good stuff but overall you know i think it's, it was a little bit overpriced maybe um now as you can tell it's kind of loose it's because i haven't tightened it down just yet because i wanted to show you these parts here uh the arms are very thin now and again not all the hardware is on but i have a three full stack a camera and these extra TPU stuff that they gave me here. Don't worry if it's bending because the screw is not in there. So don't think it's weak. Um, is it weak? Ah, oh, seems pretty good. But um, that's all I can say. So let's just take a quick like weight measurement with all the stuff inside of it. Like I used the biggest of everything in here. Which kind of surprised me. 
It's 130 grams. We could say like 140 grams with everything here. So just all we have to do is add the motor weight with the wires, which is very nice. But still, um, I wish they had figured out a way to redesign this somehow because this is really annoying. Like, like you, you get it, people who has to work on a quad in the field will know what I mean. But I mean, if you just have one pod and you really like to look at it, go ahead and grab it. It looks nice. Now, I can't tell you about the flight characteristics. And I might just go ahead and just build this thing, you know, or just put some, you know, 20 by. I, I really want to build it with something massive. So I was thinking of putting right now, I was going to do the build with the F60, I think uh, 1600 KV motors or 1900. And the HDLRC, the one that we just reviewed, the HDLRC or overviewed Titan here for the 6S builds, the stack. With the F F with the AKK FX2 Ultimate uh, VTX for super long range and the Cadex, this is like by far one of the fastest cameras I've ever tested. The Cadex here, I'll leave a link to everything down below. And I thought it would be just super awesome if I can get the stack to fit. And the stack just barely fit, like barely fit. And um, but I'm just looking at it like, okay, right now I'm gonna have to route the battery wire here, probably put a capacitor because I'm pretty sure these ESCs might be noisy. And then I have to wire the VTX. That's not that's not a problem wiring up the VTX and stuff and the camera. But you know, this this I had to use a stack because I didn't want to start wiring wires from the foreign one or each ESC into a flight controller. With this uh HDLRC stack, I could just use one wire and I'm good to go. But um overall, I mean it's it's nice. Uh, I think it has its own people for it, but I really, I really don't think I'll be building it. I'm just like sitting right here. Like I'm just thinking, okay, the diatone is just a square and I'm just going to stick the square on there. You know, just, just that's it. Open a top plate, do all my work, close it. I'm, I'm good to go. But this thing looks sexy and I want to see how it flies because it's a 5.5 inch basically wheelbase. So I really don't know. I really have no idea. But it's nice. It's nice. It it, it didn't align very perfect as, as other ch as cheaper frames actually. And um yeah, it's it's a it's a puzzle piece. It's it's this is a puzzle piece. But overall, I mean, it looks sexy. That's all I could really say. And I might just go ahead and just stick with the build here. But I I I, I just don't know. But overall, here it is, guys. It does have a camera mounting solution. Does it have a hole for an SMA? Uh, it's very thin. You might be breaking arms. So make sure you could find arms before you purchase this because uh, I think I'll even break arms. It's very rare for me to break an arm. Usually, I break a bunch of other things except the arms for some reason. Like, I break top plates. I break batteries. I break motors. And um, camera protection, there, there, there's somewhat of a camera protection, as you can tell right there. But... um. It looks nice. That, I mean, that that's all I can say. I just really hate the way they put it together. I mean, if this, you know, this, this, re look, I can't even take it off anymore. This one, I was forcing it in before I started the video just to show you that how, how it is kind of held together. But yeah, it, this is just annoying, really. And you have to completely remove those two screws and then lose them in the field just to pop this guy off, possibly lose this guy too. You know, I I go back and redesign this. I I I I'm I'm sorry. It's it it really frustrated me. I was really excited for it, and I'm just really frustrated now with this. And um, yeah. Well, that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this was my honest, super duper review because I really wanted to kind of get an idea of how this thing is gonna work. But I see other frames they have. They look pretty nice. So I got a couple of those, and um. We'll figure out what we're going to do with those later on. But overall, it's pretty damn light. It's 130 grams with everything on with, with these guys. So that, that's just pretty crazy. Um, so I don't know how that would perform. I might just end up building it and later on just ripping the internals and just putting on something else. Uh, that'll be for another day. So right now I'm just waiting for a GoPro because I lost my GoPro and motor testing quad. So we need to build a new motor testing quad for the channel. And, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider joining my Patreon. Help support this channel. Help it keep it going. I'm running out of my savings, so I need all the help I could possibly get now. Um, and you can also use the fill links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And if you haven't checked out my application, I just released an application. Uh, I just worked with Maytech right now. We're going to do an awesome, awesome sale, like a crazy super sale, hopefully for a couple boards. 
and uh, brand new straight from Maytag. And uh, I'm also selling some of my things to keep the channel kind of going. So I do have like these sale countdowns when I'll be selling them and I'm selling them for like absolutely super cheap. Just anything to support the channel at the current moment of time. And um, yeah, that's really it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please consider supporting the channel, keeping it going. And um, yeah, now we'll see you next time. See you guys. Take care.